Bill's got just the peace and quiet George and I were looking for. And the students are so well behaved. It's August. The students aren't here yet. Mr. Buckles, this is our new home. Wake up, Mr. Buckles, we're here. Didn't you poke holes in the lid so Mr. Buckles could breathe? Quiet, you're scaring Mr. Buckles. Given any thought to what you want to do with your life, son? Duh. You've heard my rhymes. I'm going to be a rapper. It's my only ticket out of the suburbs. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Piach. Show business is a tough business, you know. For every superstar who hits it big, like Billy Ocean, there's probably dozens who don't make it. You better not flunk out. I already rented your room to a boarder. I'll call you Pants Boy. How come Cindy didn't come with us? Your sister's a junior now. I guess it's just not cool to show up with your parents. Cindy, oh my God, you look so great. How was your summer? It was wonderful. I quit drinking, and it changed, like, my whole self-image. What I discovered is self-respect. That's awesome. Let's drink to being back at school. academic competition into a bloody pulp. I bought you some of those rainbow pencils with the fuzzy tabs, just like you like. Well, I don't know about this. What if I'm not smart enough to be here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that our room? I bet you can see the whole parking lot from up there. Hey, did you remember to pack an ass fur? What's an ass fur? Pooin'. <laughs> and with this handsome globe we bought you, you won't be able to help but get straight A's. I'm gonna try real hard. Hey, there really is a country called Poland. Oh, that's fun. A globe? That's just gonna clutter up the place. Well, we can put it in that corner. That's where I was gonna put this pylon I found. Boys, shouldn't you wait for your other roommate before you make these decisions? Uh, Sanford and Dell? Your third roommate, Cal? The one you talked to over the summer? He died last week in a freak accident! Woohoo! We talked to a dead guy! Honey, it's not like we're never gonna see him again. I know, but it's the next best thing. <laughs> This 
place is style. No doubt. Dude, we're in, like, college or something. Uh, I could, like, throw mayonnaise all over the place if I wanted to. I could wear this sombrero everywhere if I wanted. I could eat this light bulb! Uh, I could launch this bag of trash out the window. Dude, that's my stuff! What the hell? Jackasses. For the first time, there's no one around to ruin our fun. Hey, we didn't order that pizza. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we didn't order that, um, box. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to live here. Those incompetents screwed up my room assignment. I was supposed to get a single. I'm Joe. What's that? Ah! It's our dead roommate, Cal. And he knows what we did last summer. That's my exact replica of the human skeleton. If you haven't figured it out yet, I'm going to medical school. Orthopedic surgeons start at about 400 grand. That's it? You should be an ass doctor. They make a lot of money because they got to touch people's asses. Oh, God. Congratulations on your admission to Barter College. I trust you are all ready to meet the high academic standards of such a fine Ivy League institution. This isn't an Ivy League school. Yes, it is. It's an Ivy League school without all the bull crap. So what if they don't want me to be in their stupid club? Can we be any more immature? I don't need that kind of validation. I drive a Lincoln town car. You know what the best thing about college is? Finally getting away from that crazy girl who stalked me all through high school. Hi, Del. <laughs> Felicity? I didn't feel right the way we left things in high school. So I followed you to college. Now I go to barter, too. Um, you're not supposed to be in the boys' bathroom. Or within 100 yards of me. Oh. I'll see you around then. Why did I follow him to college? It was stupid, stupid Felicity. Maybe you'll learn if I pull out some of your beautiful hair. Ah! Do you mind? I'm trying to read. Me too. I can't concentrate without noise. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Enjoy your time in college, because it's not going to last. Dude, do you wonder if we're going to, like, make it here? The way I look at it, as long as they let you be a student here, I've got nothing to worry about. Yeah, I guess that's a good way to look at it. fine here. <laughs> you didn't expect to see us up at the crack of dawn getting ready for the first day of classes, did you? For your information, the semester started three weeks ago. Joe was right. We got dropped from all our classes. No, we didn't. We still got this one. And we're right on time. It's over. Hey, look, there's that guy from our room. Let me ask you a question. Two hours ago when I said I was leaving for biology class, where did you think I was going? Oh, uh, well, that was the first choice again. Don't listen to him. Just follow my lead.
Nice speech today, Mr. Professor. Really hilarious stuff. My name is Sanford Riley. My friend, Del Swanson, and I are both deaf. We were concerned that perhaps you called our names for attendance these past several weeks, but didn't hear you because we are deaf. I dropped you both last week. What? I'm sorry. I can't hear you because we are deaf. But, Mr. Professor, if you drop us, we'll flunk out. You've got to give us another chance. What? It's not our fault. We couldn't find the classroom. And then I dropped my fork. And Joe yelled at me. And then I realized I'm never going to see the back of my head. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll allow you to take Friday's exam. But you fail, and you two are on the next bus back to Palookaville. Actually, we're from Canton. I thought you were deaf. Who said that? I've got a problem. You have to get me out of that room. Room 305? No, the bathroom. Oh, dear. Did somebody BM in the urinal again? This is perhaps the part of the job I enjoy least. Listen, you little albino freak. I don't belong here. Barter was my safety school. How was I supposed to know Harvard had enough white males? Well, we can fill out the roommate transfer form. With all the proper signatures, it should only take about 12 weeks. 12 weeks? The semester will be over by then. Hmm. Want a Thin Mint? I bought a whole box, but it turns out they're too thick for my esophagus. It makes each one a little death cookie. Oh, man. How are we going to pass this biology test? We've never been to the class. We don't even have the book. And neither of us has seen the movie. Maybe we can ask Joe for help. He's smart. And unless I've horribly misjudged him, he's our best friend. All right. Ask him. You ask him. No, you ask him. You ask him. I'm not going to help you. Help me or him? Him, right? You two flunking out is the best thing that could happen to me. I'd get this room to myself. Really? I think the best thing that could happen to you is getting laser surgery. Because you've got such pretty eyes. Now we're going to flunk out and my mom's going to be disappointed in me. This is just like high school. Well, except I didn't flunk out. And I didn't have any pubes. And there wasn't a guy across the hall mowing his carpet. How could they let a guy like that stay in college and not us? Oh, dang this dang thing! Are you in that biology class? Yeah, that test is going to be a bitch, though, ain't it? Well, I'll see you fellas around. He must be some sort of rocket surgeon. Or one of those idiot guys that can count real good. <laughs> like everybody loves Rain Man. I think we just found our new best friend. That's how my mom died. Classic. Hey, after dinner, what do you say we go over the review sheet? Okay. How about number five? Explain the different functions of xylem and phloem. I have no idea. This stuff is way over my head. <laughs> then how'd you get an A on that quiz? He just gave me that because I was on a baseball team. I don't know any of this malarkey. You mean we just wasted a whole week hanging out with you? It wasn't a total waste. We still got these macrame doilies. I have some of this. My dad always told me, if you drink enough, the taste will go away. And a man's touch will be as tender as a woman's. <laughs> We got a test tomorrow. We're gonna flunk out of school. That's it? Relax. It's not the end of the world. It's not? Oh, no. Could be the best thing that ever happened to you. I used to pay $2,000 a year to come to this school way back when. Then I flunked out. Now they pay me $2,000 a year to come here. Who do you think got the last laugh there? Chuck's time to shine.
Hey, little brother. There's no food at my place. Can I borrow your meal card? I already used mine tonight. Take Joe's. Ah! What are you doing here? I thought I killed you. Oh, that's Joe's medical skeleton. Sanford calls it Mr. Boner. And then he says, get it. You get it? Oh, I see. So, how's college treating you? Uh, it's harder than I thought. I wouldn't worry. You gotta be a real dolt to flunk out of this school. Oh, God. We're screwed. I don't want to be a dolt. What are we gonna do? Uh, I guess we could try to read the chapters. You always want to take the easy way out, don't you? Bums. Never have to take tests. What do they know about hardship? What are you doing? Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> get a room! <laughs> this is to get a room. Uh, dear god, I know I don't deserve your help, but if you could possibly find some way for me to cheat on that test tomorrow, I'll forget about that $10 you owe me. <sighs> Dell. Happened to be outside the window the last 72 hours and thought I'd stop by. Is that biology? Um, yeah. I have a test. So, uh, I should probably get back to studying. I aced AP biology last year. I could help you. Really? You could come over, and I'll tutor you in my room while we sit on my bed between my embroidered Dell pillows and look at my computer program that morphs our images and shows what our child would look like. I've already named him Delicity or Fell, whichever you like. Um, on second thought, I better just start to close this door as you struggle to keep it open. You think I'm fat, don't you? I vomited three times for you today, you know that? Uh. All right, let's hand them in so I can get home to my owls. Almost forgot. They roll out the welcome mat for you, and the next thing you know, it's good riddance. And after we spent so much time building that loft... Ah, uh, what's the use? I don't belong here. I don't belong anywhere. I might as well just run off and join the Olympics. I can't seem to do anything right. Uh, those are Joe's clothes. Uh, that was the window. How'd you fellas do on that test? Uh, Bad, huh? Join the club. I think I got the lowest score in the class. Wanna bet? What'd you get? Oh, hell. A 42? At least you passed. I got a 15. What do you mean, passed? Our biology professor grades on a curve. He explained it on the first day. Weren't you there? We can't be everywhere at once. The lowest grade in the class gets the F. You guys got at least a D. D? Do you know what that means? Yeah, really big boobs. Dude, your mom has D's. And they're sweet. You know what else it means? We passed. Woo! What are my clothes doing down on the... What the... Don't you know that thing costs over $2,000? That thing has a name, Mr. Boner. 
Get it? This is college. They don't tolerate brain-dead morons like you at this level of education. <laughs> I think they do.